every Thursday, these verses gon' get me now. I take over, it be the gang, and we grindin' With the scope, with yeah. the beam, I yeah. still find it Y'all niggas, we throwin' shit, we still shinin' Success is gon' come as our time Cause we grindin', grindin', we grindin', grindin'. It's take over Thursday, let me remind them yeah. Cause we grindin', grindin', we grindin', grindin'. It's take over Thursday, let me remind them Take over, it be the gang, and we grindin' With the scope, with the beam, I still find it Y'all niggas, we throwin' shit, we still shinin' Success is gon' come as our time Cause we grindin', grindin', we grindin', grindin'. It's take over Thursday, let me remind them yeah. Cause we grindin', grindin', we grindin', grindin'. It's take over Thursday, let me remind them What's going on? It's your boy Lito Takeover. This is the Takeover Files. We got a special exclusive episode right here. I know you be seeing it on the gram, getting it pop. You might see her pop up on the live or two, you know what I'm saying? Making moves, doing interviews from a, from Philly to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Philly One and only Atlanta. Tay, what's up? What's Shut up, up Tay. My <laughs> what's going on with you? I'm chilling, I'm chilling. I love my name. That's what I think I, I chose the perfect name for myself with all that I want to do. So it sounds like you talk a lot. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's why, you know what's so funny, like, when it came down to, like, scoop hall and stuff, like, that's why I'm the host, like, people don't understand, like, that's mm. why, because I'm the, I'm the person that just always got something to say, I'm the person I be, like, I'm just, I don't know, I'm uh, saying, like, <laughs> my friends always telling me, shut up. <laughs> nah, it's crazy, because I feel like, I had, like, I saw you on, I saw Scoop Hall go live one time. Mm -hmm. I'm like, damn, she the one who run it? I would have never thought. Then I followed you. Mm -hmm. So I was like, damn, she really popping. I hopped on your live. You had some crazy wild topics one day. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's just, it wasn't even 9 o'clock. I'm like, damn, they get it popping. But, uh, so t tell me a little bit about that connection first before we can start. Because I feel like a lot of people want to know. What, what yeah, so about. Scoop Hall, um, we started with Scoop Hall back in like 2015, right? Um, I am the co-CEO of Scoop Hall. I'm not the founder of Scoop Hall. I, I'm not the founder for what everybody wants to, you know, maybe one day they'll decide to, you know, come forward. But Scoop Hall was, um, I'm going to speak from... What I think, how, how I think that person will feel is, is just, it was an idea. It was like, I, it was more so about what they wanted to do for the city, okay. not really for themselves. So when you think about it like that, that helps explain kind of why I'm the face. Mm -hmm. Because it, it never was about them, it never was about the, whose idea it was, it wasn't a page. Like, you know, that's what kills me about Scoop Hall. Like, whenever I get online, people are like, oh, you running, you running, it's like, who cares who runs it? Yeah, like, fine. yo, this shit been going on for years. Like, you know what I'm saying? We... You, we, you, you getting good content and we covering all bases like people not realizing this blog is a, it's, it's about the city it's like it's the not like a, on the exactly like and it's not like a um you know Mir got his his blog um his lives and his blog and stuff like that um let's talk about it and stuff mm -hmm. like that you know you're you know that you're get you're going to get Mir when you get on his live mm -hmm. you know that you're going to get Connie and well back when she had the other girls with it you know that's, I don't know who Connie is I know but, <laughs> I, I, I feel I'm here with you I'm here but you well let's talk about it what I was just saying it to say like you know it was always a face associated and I mean I am the association with Scoop Hall but for us our approach is a little bit different we okay. try to put the city first and put it like that but when we gotta put the city first, when it's time to interview, when it's time to like, you know, discuss crazy topics or we wanna do, you know, fun stuff. Yeah. You need somebody to do that. Yeah, facts. And, and it's that's like, that's why I came okay. in. It was like, um, I don't know. That person just saw something in me. They always tell me like, like, oh, I just seen your personality. What did I do? I did a, um, a page in there, Lincoln. I did a, um, the alpha page in there, Shout out to LU. You know yeah, LU. Thinking pride, <laughs> but um, I did a page and um, my folks was there and they was like, I just seen so much personality, like you just a perfect person for that, like, cause again, their focus is the city, their focus is content, their focus is on making this blog and this platform bigger than than what it is, right. and they ain't got time to be on camera. So yeah. that's that's how the whole school court thing works. It's not nothing I'm running from. People think I'm like running behind or like trying to like avoid. Like you know, like it's yeah. literally nothing like that, but it's just so and I agree, it's so pointless to even come out as the per like I as don't the Yeah, as the founder or whatever. It's like for what? It it's kinda like the, the purpose is bigger than, than Exactly. That. And okay. that's what people are missing. Like it's the purpose is bigger than than who's running it or who's the people that actually post all this stuff why you still won't check it out it's still hot it's still like you know what I mean this you still feel the opinions and stuff like and we definitely in other cities too like 
we definitely um we we started slowly in other city. Our the biggest other city we had um was DMV. Mm. Um, shout out to DMV, Richmond. Yeah. Well, y'all know, Richmond, I wrote the DMV, but shout out to the DMV. <laughs> know how we come in, you know what I'm yeah, saying? yeah. So we got um the DMV school poll page. We was at about a hundred, a little over a hundred k. I can't exactly remember the numbers, but we working on getting that page back up and running. But fuck with the DMV as well and. We moving. It's, it's definitely good. bigger. It's definitely bigger than Philly. That's what I'm saying to people. It's like you know, that whoever these people that that's working on all of this, they not worried about their face. Yeah, they right. putting they showing love to other people. You know. And that's why. That's why I really like Philly Shoe Park because like, you get you get pop out art new artists coming out. You get the the skits. Mm-hmm. You get it's random everything. people pop. Mm-hmm. Like y'all had chicks going viral. Yeah. You know what I'm the uh, the action. It's just so mm-hmm. much that. Yeah, that you guys bring to the table. It's a, it's it's that, and it's like a lot of a lot of little you know people that do comedy and skits and stuff. We now I'm not I, I hate the term we put people on, but yeah. you know like a lot of it is what it is. Like, yeah, you like you, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You, you know it's. It's like a gatekeeper type of thing. Exactly, mm-hmm. and that's and that's what Scoop Hall is for, though. That's what it's for. It's like, and that's what I really really want people to understand. What Scoop is like. The biggest message is like really notice what we're doing for this city. It's right. some real people that that follow Scoop Hall. I I've heard. Plenty of conversations. I, I know. I mean, I would think I, I I know pretty much everybody in the city for real, for real. As far as like artists and stuff go, not you know, not all the smaller artists or anything like that, but you know, bigger names and stuff like that. And they all keep up with it. Yeah. They all. I don't know Meek, but <laughs> <laughs> but but Meek keep up with it. Like I, I know people that do know Meek, and they told me like you feel me that when stuff move stuff like that going on on Scoop Hall, yeah, they all That's be sitting loud. around Ben. They want they watch the page too. I mean, I don't know how true it was, but. I heard everybody, everybody pay attention. So it's like, that's what it's for. It's putting, and I think it's actually a crazy ass and different twist from any other blog. Even, I'm mean, even bring up like the shade room or something like that because like, we, we, we really, we showing our city. Like, yeah. it's Philly. It's, it's even, I've seen followers and um, athletes and artists from other cities they follow that are major and stuff like that. Like, I, I remember Academics was in the comments and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like, this all just, just this Philly based, like. It's crazy, because like you said, it would've been out since 2015. Mm-hmm. And it's like the growth over five years has been. 2015, I was in Virginia, so I'm gonna keep it being, I ain't know nothing about Philly. Yeah, we, we really kicked it off on Twitter. Um, and I had, we, we kicked it off with an interview with ARA. Okay. Yeah, and so, I saw, that was the interview, right? Yeah, I saw it. So, yeah, that was my first interview I just ever. saw it like a couple <laughs> weeks ago, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, so. no, it's cool. And like, literally, it's so funny because when I did that interview, they called me like, yo, we're going to do an interview. Like, we about to pop out with this this blog that we've been talking about or whatever. Like, we about to get it started. Like, we about to start this year in Philly. Like, I got us an interview with ARM. I'm like, ARM? Like, like, what? Like, I'm in Lincoln. Like, what? ARM? Like, I'm telling niggas, like, I'm about to interview ARM next week. Like, I had to really, like, go watch all this stuff. Like, I, I, of course, I know who Ed was, but I ain't never really listened to it. Like, you know, so. It was like a little like I had to really like brush up yeah, brush it. Yeah, like, like you, and it was a real he was he wasn't a tough first interview, but he was a little bit. He seemed like he was real like you know how some people who knew the interview and they don't really know how to like enunciate on stuff. Mm-hmm. He seemed like he was real like not really shut down, but just all right, here go your answer. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Doing. So it's like definitely if somebody that was interviewing him, it was like I had to keep, you know, keep bringing stuff up and, you know, keep making conversation but that's the good thing about me. I can talk. I see. Look, <laughs> I'm gonna give it to be. This is the first time I take over history. The first segment I only talk. I only said like two sentences. She ah, I'm sorry. No, nope. <laughs> you make my job a lot easier. I tell you that. But uh, all right, so um, hell you. Mm-hmm. Tell me a little bit about what was your major there? Um, mass communication. Shout out to Mass Comm. Yes, all the way. Got the wrong name. You know, we got we all we all stepped <laughs> up. Um, but mass communications. I went the digital route. Um, I wish I did a PR now, um, because, well, I went digital because I wanted to be on the camera, mm-hmm. but I didn't want to be behind the camera, but I still know how to do everything behind the camera, right, which is right. good, That's I need that right now. Um, it's so crazy because, man, it's calm, like, I feel like all of us right now, the people who really went to school for man, calm, Lincoln, no matter where you went, well, it doesn't matter where you went, but... Definitely matter. Yeah, definitely matter where you, yeah, right? you went when it comes to mass comm. Yeah, because <laughs> some, yeah, because some schools ain't got no problem. They ain't all different types of programs and stuff. But 
a lot of people that was mass kind, what I will give them and I love about it is everybody is just really doing their own thing. Right. Like it's, it's podcasts, it's, it's shows, it's people are rapping, people are producing, people making beats. Like so many, anything I need in this industry that I want to do, I, I got somebody I went to school with. It. Mm. I, I, I got somebody I can call like, yo, can you edit this? Yo, can you do this? Yo, I need pictures then. Right. Yo, I need a videographer. Yo, I need somebody to edit the video. Yo, I need somebody to help me get dressed. I need, some, I need a creative d d director, right. like, I, it's everybody, and they all Lincoln based too, like, uh, <laughs> for sure, I, like. I feel like, I feel like I, was, I was interviewing a young dude uh, a couple of weeks ago, he was just saying, like, he don't want to go to school, mm -hmm. and I'm just like, dude, like, you got the opportunity to go, go, because I feel like the perception of school is so, like, hey, I went to Union, mm -hmm. Union was the hood, like, yeah, okay, Union, I know, I, see, I had I see the, the text right next to my dorm, so, yeah. like, you know <laughs> but, I just feel like the perception of college is work, work, work. When people don't even realize, yo, throughout the week, you're really not doing that much. You mm -hmm. probably got two classes on a Tuesday or, or Thursday, two classes Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then you rocking out. But mm -hmm. it's about those connections, you know what I'm saying? Like, like It's about the experience, The too. experience, too. Like, experience, definitely experience. Cause, I know for sure, like, now the way I look at it is, like, Sometimes I kind of feel like I didn't need Lincoln all the way. You know, it's crazy. When I got the Lincoln, it was around 2014. And when School Paul had just started, like, I, I, I was thinking to myself, like, damn, like, I wanted to stop. I wanted to fully help them, mm -hmm. like, and fully be in it. And like, I was in school. So, again, it wasn't, I wasn't all the way with the steps and all the way with the technical stuff online. And, and you just you can't know. hop on a bus at Lincoln. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, so it was like, I, I, I was available for interviews and stuff like that. But I'm seeing all this to say, Depending on what you want to do, if you're a person who really, you know, you a hairstylist or, you know, something specific or you really, really absolutely know what you want to do, you think you do, mm -hmm. and you got a way to get to that without going to college, then I respect it. But now, don't, if you ain't doing shit, you know, take that opportunity, take that opportunity. like, go ahead, like, if you can, go ahead, because, I mean, we all want, I'm not paying your shit back. But yeah, look, I'm still in school. I'm in school for my master's right oh, now. That's right. what I do. I'm going to tell you my trick. All right. I take like three classes. Yeah. I sign up at the end of the year. So my job is going to defer me. I'm saying, damn, I'm a teacher. So if I teach in five years, I'm on my fourth and a half year. My shit gets cleared in December. But that's a little, that's a little inside trick. Look, that's what we're going to do real quick. We're going to go to that first commercial break. All right. This is why I want y'all to check out. Check out this Big Daddy Kane interview. My man, he gave us all the scoop. He told us about that session he had with Tupac, too. It's your boy, Little Takeover, Takeover Files. Man, so tell me about that experience, that studio session with Tupac. Um, oh, well, we was, in, we was in Vegas hanging out um, for a Tyson fight, and we just um, flew back to L.A. to um, cut some songs. And, you know, we went in and did something, and it came out hot. You know, um, like Snoop was supposed to jump on the hook, but um, he had left early that night. So he never got a chance to, but I mean, but even with, without his um, hook, um, it still came out real hot, you know. Very, very underrated song, and that was right after he got out, like that iconic moment in hip hop history. Hey, uh, All right, so we back with the Takeover Files. This your boy Little Takeover, man. We got Shut Up Tay. You know what I'm saying? Host, <laughs> model. She told me, hold on, I got a photo shoot from, from three to six. So, you know what I'm saying? So I said, damn, she doing it all. Let me know a little bit about you now, all right? We, we got into the entertainment. Tell me about Tay. You know what I'm saying? Where you from? Hey, okay, How you come okay. up? Um, what I'm, schools you went to? High schools, all that. I was doing the real, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> my name is... My real name is Taylor. That's a fun fact. Everybody always thinks that my name is like... Yo, some boy was calling me Sean Taylor. I thought it was like Tayana. Exactly. You <laughs> say like, yo, people be like, Tay, who was I talking to, yo? I, yo, it's <laughs> okay. So, I was talking to this boy. Oh, uh, shout out to him at Effect real quick. Ike, Lil Uzi album. He produced the first song, so shout out to them. Um, but he was like, we was talking, he was like, Shantae. I'm like, why are you calling me Shantae? Shantae? Yeah, it's like a whole, like, a whole name, but <laughs> I grew up in West Philly, um, Overbrook. Um, I went to, I graduated from World Communications. Um, shout out to World. But I, I was bounced around. I was like in Catholic school, in and out of Catholic school when I was in middle school. All right, so would you bounce around because you was bad? Yeah. All right, I was just saying that mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking to him. I was the funny one. I'm funny as shit. I know. <laughs> I definitely know. I am funny as hell. I'm so funny. Um, I'm a real playful person. I like to think I got a good personality. But I was really like, I mean, I'm not no, like, I was right up in Philly. Like, I mean, 
I was a lifeguard for five, six years. Like so lifeguard? Yo, you know, I worked at a swim club and I can't swim. Really? Y'all promise y'all can't swim. I learned how to swim like two summers in a row and I'll always forget and it'll be over. Forget? I promise you. What? Forget. I was like on teams and everything. Yo, you a beast. You might have to teach me how to. Yeah, I'm one, I'm one of them people. I'm jack of all trades. So I bartend. Um, I got my own mobile bartending company. Okay. I was like, I was a lifeguard. I did every, like, I, like I'm not really a person that bounced around. I was a um, customer service supervisor for Spirit Airlines at one point. So I, I learned how to like get cheap flights. I learned how to plan cheap vacations and stuff. I'm real, tra I'm heavy travelable. Um, what else? Um, all of the interview stuff, <laughs> all of the personality stuff. Um, I'm trying to really get into like modeling, acting right now. I'm trying to go strong with the acting. Um, mm -hmm. I really think. I need to be doing that, period. Um, but you know what's so funny? Though? I'm going to keep it real, real in this interview real quick. I, like, this past year, well, since I was in college, I was in a relationship. I was going to ask you if you're single. That was the last question. <laughs> I'm single now, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I was in a relationship. And it's like, my ex, I ain't even going to throw no shade or nothing. Like, everybody make their own decisions. But I really... My goals wasn't Tay. My goals wasn't Taylor. It wasn't, you know, I wasn't only thinking of myself. I was sometimes. I was doing some stuff, but I was holding back a lot. I didn't want to do certain interviews. I didn't want to be around booties. I didn't want to do being mm -hmm. videos. I didn't want, you know, I didn't want, you know. I wrapped up in a relationship. Yeah, so, relationship so, stuff. Mm -hmm. so that kind of slowed me down. I'm saying that to say, like, especially if it's anybody out there that you want to do something or whatever. Like, we at this age, like, you know, if you're in your 20s and you ain't, you know, I don't know what everybody got going on, but. Just make sure, like, and it's cool. I don't like to sound like people can't have goals or yeah. strong relationships. I've seen people that, you know, like, you feed off each other or whatever. But don't put your goals quiet just for no relationship. Yeah. Like, you feel me? Because that's not what they into. Like, that go for boys, too. Like, if you a rapper and your, your girl don't like certain images or you can't be in videos with girls. Because I hate, I hate the videos with just all your niggas, y'all. It's getting old. That's we why, need to that's, shake it up. Like we need to videos, shake. <laughs> I cannot do like that's all fifteen of y'all just jumping around. It's it's come on that's like two different scenes. Yeah, the girls be liking the songs, but come on, like shake it up. Like do something different. Reach out to these creative directors. But I'm saying all this to say again, like your shorty don't want you around girls. Like that's you gotta like I don't know. Follow your dreams. Don't let nobody get in between that. But I'm single now. You're single now. My DMs is popping. They are open. <laughs> I could tell by the live. That's just so random. Like, damn. Somebody, I ain't never going to say the comedy he said. I ain't never going to say the name. But we'll start going in early. To, I'm like, damn, bro. It ain't there at 8 yet. Yeah. Like, niggas ain't there brush their teeth. Jeez, talking like, about the What's shit? For, yeah. Yeah. But, um, like, <laughs> nah, that's people funny. People be crazy, but. Alright, so real quick. Just going back to the relationship. Mm -hmm. Were you toxic? Um, Yeah. <laughs> Not like in a bad way, but you know why I'm nah, saying yeah I like that? Because the way you just looked at me and said yeah like that. No, I said it like that because you, I'm not, I'm really, I'm a real comfortable person, and I'm a real like, I'm not no blaming person. Mm -hmm. So when I'm gonna say I'm a toxic, it might, I was toxic with him. Like it was, it we fed off each other. Like and it's, cause I hate for people to be like, oh my god, he was so toxic, he was so toxic. Like you was putting out some shit. Every action got a reaction. Right. Every action has a reaction. So. When people are doing something to you, they're reacting to something. And it might not be nothing that you did wrong. It might just be you. Yeah. But sometimes, somewhere, you feel me? I might have pressed buttons here and there. Might have. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not yeah. like, I don't know. I ain't looking for nothing right now. I'm chilling. Like, I'm, I feel like I'm in a good place. I'm really like, you know, trying to learn myself and stuff right now. Um, I got some friends. <laughs> so what led to your Atlanta move? Our relationship. So after that, like, all right, were you in a relationship in Atlanta or after the relationship, you was like, all right, I'm out. Um, I moved to Atlanta in a relationship. Okay. Um, we split up. Um, I went through H E double hockey sticks. Good. Like hell and black. Atlanta was a crazy move. I'm gonna do a um, YouTube video because a lot of people want to move. A lot of people want to know the truth, how it is, and like. I'm really ready to tell you. <laughs> that yeah, shit. Let me know because I'm, I'm considering moving to Atlanta. Do summer. it. Do it. Like, what I will say is, I'm so happy I did it because mm. I really, like, learned. I, I really 
seriously, it's like some cliche shit to like, I'm just over a lot of, I'm not fearful of nothing, like, because I really hit rock bottom, I'm still coming back up. Okay. I ain't never been in, in, in the position I'm in right now in my life, like, I'm young as shit, but still, like, I... How old are you? 25. Okay. But it's like, I hit rock bottom. Like, it taught me a lot, and it is what it is, and we all gotta go through stuff, but do it. Like, I tell everybody, like... If you're young, if you, I mean, even if you have kids or your situation or whatever, but if you don't have really anything holding you necessarily, like, big, big, like, you're able to, like, don't be just leaving your kids, y'all, though, like, especially the guys. <laughs> I don't but, got no kids. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, you know, like, don't just, like, if you can up and just go somewhere or, like, change it or, like, even, like, I tell people, like, that about vacations and stuff. Yeah. So many people, when I used to book flights, I used to get so many people that had never been nowhere. And that's crazy. And it's so crazy, but and then it was always surprised that the flights were so cheap. Like I would find them, like I would get sixty dollar flights round trip to Atlanta. Like I'll get hundred round trip to LA. Like people were so like into booking flights then, and that's how I know a lot of people in the city too. But I'm seeing all this to say, like you gotta stop waiting for shit. Yeah. Like we we do, everybody do so much small stuff for for the moment. We don't even notice the people copping outfits for the moment. Like you feel me? You you copping. I don't know, that's all I see is all this designer stuff and all this. And I like, trust me, I like a little designer too. Like, you know, don't get it twisted in case any of my niggas see this interview. Huh? <laughs> you can buy me a little something, something there, y'all. Don't, <laughs> I ain't shy. <laughs> but no, I'm just saying though, like, if that ain't you right now, like, that ain't you. It's yeah. cool. Like, it's, I just rather, you, I rather have memories than anything. And Atlanta's a memory. And it's like, I learned from it. I could turn around and come back. Always got a home to go to. Like that's another thing I tell people. If you got your family here in Philly, mm -hmm. like your mom is, or your folks, whoever, yeah. Like if somebody got a crib that you can come back to, like you know that, like if shit go left in my life, I can always go to my grandma's crib for yeah. a couple months. So, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got somebody. So if you got that too, definitely like go, yeah. go, like go. There's jobs available. It's all over though. It's not just Atlanta. Anywhere, anywhere, like anywhere. I don't see people move abroad this year. Yeah. Like, I mean, they regretting that right now. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> they definitely on their way back. Yeah, seriously, but nah. Sorry, so two more questions real quick. Um, Going back to the social media, what's the wildest DM you ever got? Whoa, dick pics. All right, besides dick pics, I okay. feel like that's like, yeah. yeah. That's like wild. Y'all just be wild. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah that's just like the wild, wildest. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because you was telling niggas to send them drawings, I feel like. Yeah, we, I, we, that was a whole conversation. Yeah, but you don't just send it on no DMs. Like, just, I don't know. <laughs> like, that's what I'm waking up to. I ain't even hear my call. <laughs> but, um, nah, the wildest thing. Some boy asked me one time, um, he literally asked me like how much, that really wasn't the wildest thing because I thought like someone else asked me that too, but he was like how much you want to like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he like flat out, he like I really like, he oh, like I've been trying to go at you, he like you bitch. Tripping? Nah, hell no. He nah. like, he probably <laughs> like bitch, <laughs> like he called me a bitch everything, like bitch, you won't write me big, how much do you want, like I need. Oh no, nah, that's wild. That's wild. Yeah, that's definitely, <laughs> yeah, that's out of pocket. Yo, y'all yeah, gotta chill wild. with the DMs though. Like, that's wild. <laughs> oh, you know what else is the wildest though? So, <laughs> this boy I dated in high school, and we didn't, yeah, I didn't even, but um, his dad hopped in my DM. I think that that's wild. That's, that's wild as shit to me. You met the pop before? No, nah, I ain't meet the pop, <laughs> but it's just like, when I look through his pictures, like, that shit's fun, I'm like, yo. That's fun. Was he smooth how he hopped in? Like, yeah, he was smooth. Yeah, but I'm cool. <laughs> I'm I try to get it, y'all. I try to get it. All right. Look, this is going to be the last question. All right. What's um? I mean, it's clear you've been through a lot of things in your mm -hmm. life, um, a lot of trials and tribulations, mm -hmm. relationship-wise, career-wise. What's the message that you want to give out to any young black woman, young black child, female, that's just going through different things, want to be in entertainment, but needs that extra bit of motivation? Um, be yourself and, like, don't overthink, because I overthink. And especially, like, being a female, um, don't be obsessed with your looks. Don't be obsessed with, like, cause that that's that be me. Like, I'm not a I'm not an obsessive like look person, but like I won't upload some shit cause it's something so small. Okay. And I'm real self conscious with how I talk and stuff. So, my overall thing is just like really like heavily be yourself. Like, if you gotta, oh, let me go, you know, beat my face and do all this. I mean, if that's if that's yourself, that's how you are. Yeah, do it. But again, don't go out your comfort zone 
to be <laughs> to be making videos and stuff. Like, gotta do what you do. Like, be yourself. Like, that's I, I really think I get the most the most respect and I get the best feedback when I'm literally just myself. Like, I get more people to comment with like my ancestors and me like being goofy or like just talking and being myself and mm -hmm. not doing anything. And you know, I used to really be self conscious. I'm telling you. Cause I, I mean, I'm even a niggas, they be sliding. I'm like, mm. but <laughs> a lot of guys, though, <laughs> a lot of guys, though, I really think they appreciate. I'm really all the way myself. Like I've, been, I've dealt with. I'm, I'm the same with anybody. I'm the same with the nigga that, that you try to talk to me on the block to the nigga that is getting some, you know, some growth. Yeah, you feel me? Like it's like I'm just, I'm me. That's it. That's all you're gonna get because trying to be somebody else all the time. That shit hard. You gotta keep up with it. You got it's too much. Just be yourself. Like literally. Be yourself and do it the best you can. Like don't let nobody tell you another way. Like I feel like girls be so right now it's just everybody though, not even just girls. I'm telling you, like the shit you see online, these girls coming up, these bodies all crazy yeah. and shit, like they all build, they look good, like the hair all night, you know, it, it, it is like, damn, like, do I gotta look like that every time I do this, all these YouTube motherfuckers come, no, <laughs> you don't, like, that's not really, like, you get it's me, everybody, real. yeah, it's not, that, it's not even necessarily not real, but everybody not gonna show you every side, you gotta start from somewhere, and Cardi B is a very good example, yeah, Cardi ain't right. never, ever, I don't, Never, and she up there now, but I think people really, really forget like where Cardi B used yeah, to like, yeah, with the teeth, and, with the the teeth videos, and laying in her bed. A lot she of people really... only remember she's on Love and Hip Hop, and that's the yeah. crazy thing. Like people really just remember her as an artist. Like mm -hmm. that's wild. Mm -hmm. And now you don't even have to go out and do no wild stuff. I, I feel like I see some people trying to go all the way off the back end, and like you know, like really, really try to stick out. Just be yourself. Uh, just really, just be yourself, like, cause that's I can't. Oh. <laughs> Not too long ago, I was thinking about, I'm like, yo, what's my move? Like, what's going to be my plan? I'm like, okay, should I make my, because I didn't know what I wanted my YouTube to be focused on. And then I'm like, yo, I'm going to just do it all. Because that's what I do. Like, yeah. I'm just, I can't, that's all I know how to do is be myself. So, stay true to that and you should be cool. And even if it don't, you don't progress as fast as somebody else. You don't look as good as somebody else. No, fuck it. Boys too. Your video not as hot as how they doing their videos, but you not in a position to be getting there right now. Yeah. Release your video. It's all a process. It's a process. Release your video. You never know. Somebody people so scared. That's what's wrong with Philly too. You yeah. want me a whole other topic. I'm listening. But it's just like people gotta like we we it, it's 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 just frowned upon to show love and stuff. Like it's frowned upon to like People look at it like it's dicky and it's crazy. Yeah, you still like it's shit. just like you gotta like nah. When you 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 be surprised, put that shit out, do it, like get it over with. Like you're you never know who's watching. Like people, again, a lot of people <laughs> really rather genuine vibes and to see you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Than for you to come out and look like you got it all together right now. I know artists that got so much money that put out all this work to make it look like they living this big extravagant crazy life right now. And nobody in Philly even deal with them. Mm. Nobody in Philly even mess with them. Because they're not genuine. You're not, like, like you, you're not, I'm telling you, it's, it's all about the, this image stuff. It's something to it. But I'm telling you, you stop trying to be it so, so hard and just really, like, stay in your lane and shit. People will fuck with you. And Philly got to open up, too. Philly got to stop promoting the hate and stop promoting all of that. Like, ain't nobody in competition because in other cities, they not doing it. That's how these niggas is coming up. Mm. I can honestly sit here and listen to you talk all day. Like, yeah, I feel like you dropping jewels, you know what I'm saying? That's really how these other cities coming out. I'm in Atlanta, like, you meet somebody, what? Oh, I'm, I'm like, yeah, they, they, I'm like, following on the girl show. They be like, oh my God, look at you following. Like, what do you do? Like, oh my God, like, you feel your, all right, well, we got to work down here. Like, I'm talking about in the market. Like, yeah. you, you meeting somebody, they trying to fuck with you, yo. Yeah? I'm telling you, and it be, the person you talking to might, be fucking, I don't know, little baby PR. Yeah, right. So it, 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 that, that's extreme. But you know what I'm saying? It, like, it's really not. No, yeah, it's you really. You never know who somebody is. Exactly. You know and you're running into them people all the time and they're humble and they want to help. They're not, people are not unapproachable. People are not, and people are fully not unapproachable either. I'm not unapproachable. But again, that fully mentality. So many people see me, what, staring at me all day. They, they, and look me up and down and stuff like that. When you, really you want to say, yo, why you, why you don't post my mixtape? Yeah. When you, when you hold me and mama say that to me in the store, I'll post it right there. Be yourself. Speak out. Network. Open your mouth. 
Niggas is. Listen, we got we gotta get Tay up <laughs> on another episode. Hopefully, this could be you feel me. This could be part one. I ain't mm-hmm. gonna say it right now, but mm-hmm. hopefully, this part one to it's many more. I know you gotta get out of here. I won't hold you up too much longer. Yes, you know what I'm saying. Yes. But look, I really enjoyed it though. You enjoyed it? <laughs> yes. I'm sorry I look bummy, y'all, because y'all know um, the out here. Listen, I got a whole hat on in the spot. Right? <laughs> <laughs> My barber, D, what's up? Hold on, real quick, D, what's up? Like you got me out here looking crazy, bro. Where you at, D? Crazy. Like, I need to. I, I don't even want to show y'all the M sense because my shit looking wild. I got Tay in the building. I, I can't look crazy. The <laughs> but nah, hey Tay, I appreciate you coming through. Um, I just dropping knowledge. You, you know, uh, explaining everybody your role and everything. You know, just showing your personality. Like mm-hmm. I said, I love watching you on live since I've been following because I really be laughing. I was mm-hmm. going <laughs> well, whenever and just be bidding, but it's it's. A- I said I was going to start doing it on Sundays, like really going live and really. So that's another thing. Sorry, real quick. The procrastination. I'm real. I'm big on it. That's something <laughs> I'm really trying to give up. So I don't know how. If anybody's a procrastinator, help me. DM me what you doing. Cause. <sighs> Shit, well, yes. shit, we all got a piece of it. If we would have had this talk about three months ago, I would have <laughs> been like, awesome. That's awesome. But nah, man. Look, look, look let's, let's say the rest of part two, all right? All right. When I'm, when, can we say it now? We're going to talk off the camera about part two. No, we're going to do part two. We're going to do part two. We're going to do part right, two. Because you, you be in the mix, you Yeah, saying? but I'm always here. But we might have to do it in Atlanta because I just grabbed a ticket for like $32. <laughs> <laughs> no, we definitely right, right, do it in Atlanta. Right, though. Right. We do it in Atlanta. I, I promise you. I got some hot shit, man. All right, we all do it, man. Listen, y'all. We're going to do it in the interview my style. Shout, shout out to Instagram, shout out where they can find you, shout out everything you want them to know. Alright y'all, y'all can find me on everything by Shut Up Tay, even my YouTube channel is named Shut Up Tay, um, two underscores, well, it's no underscores on YouTube, but two underscores on Instagram, one underscore on Twitter, that's all I'm about, I'm gonna keep being me, hopefully you're you. <laughs> I like that, it's your boy Little Takeover, man, we appreciate Tay for coming through, we appreciate Shut Up Tay for coming through, I'm saying blessing the files, uh, y'all. It's, it's, uh, it's March, the end of March. We know we got this coronavirus going on. Make sure y'all staying safe, washing our hands. Stop shaking everybody's hands. Stop hugging everybody. Yeah, like, some, y'all see what she got? The sanitizer. I got the lights on. And be logical. Like, like, really, like, we... Come on, y'all. Be smart. Stop. People don't ever watch the news. Now everybody watch yeah, the news. everybody will watch. Yo, for us, it's the media for I feel like a lot of this shit is blowing up. But that's a whole nother subject. Topic. It's your boy Lito Takeover. Takeover Files. Hey, yo, it's Kobe season. Season 8. Bitch! <laughs>